we're going to be reviewing adding and subtracting, especially with what we call regrouping or carrying or borrowing. We're going to use all of those words because those are words that we use in class, but also those are words that your parents know at home. Before we get started, a brief reminder about place value. When we're talking about numbers, numbers have, and the ones we are talking about today, have a ones place, they have a tens place, and they're also going to have a hundreds place. And when we represent those numbers in a picture, we're going to draw our ones by drawing little dots, our tens by drawing lines, and our hundreds by drawing squares. So this number right here is 333. Let's start with an addition problem. The first problem we're gonna start with today is 647 plus 236. You'll notice as I'm writing this problem, I'm gonna be writing it vertically up and down, and I'm gonna draw lines in between each of these place values just to help me keep everything nice and neat in order that I'm not adding the ones to the tens or the tens to the hundreds. I'm going to circle my sign because I need to remember that I'm adding and not subtracting. And sometimes when I start going fast, I do the wrong operation. Now I'm going to start today by drawing a picture over to the side. You don't have to draw a picture as you're adding, but as we're kind of reviewing and you're trying to remember, a picture might be helpful. So starting with 647, I'm gonna start over here with seven ones, and I'm gonna draw those as dots. Seven ones, then I have four tens, and I have six hundreds. And I'm gonna kind of draw those as blocks. I'm gonna kind of overlap a little bit over here, but making sure you can see all of those hundreds. So I have 647. I need to add on to that two hundreds, three tens, and six ones. So I'm going to start with my six ones. When I draw six ones over here, now all of a sudden I have seven ones plus six ones. And I can add all of those up or, you know, use your fingers to help you if you're not really sure what that fact is. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen ones. And remember, we can't have thirteen ones. I can't write a thirteen here. I can only have a digit nine or less here. So that's when we use that language of we can carry the one here. And what that really means over here with the ones is I'm taking 10 of these ones, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and I'm turning that into a tens block. That's what we mean when we say we're carrying the one or re we are regrouping 10 of those ones into a 10. Now I have one, two, three, four tens, plus my extra 10 up here, and now I'm adding on three more tens. One, two, three. And all together, I have one plus four plus three, or one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight tens. I'm not, I don't need to turn those tens into 100 because I have eight here, which is nine or less. Then I have six 100s blocks, and I need to turn, add two more in. So I have six plus two, and that equals eight. So 647 plus 236 is 883. This time I'm going to add, but I'm not going to draw a picture. So I'm gonna start with the problem 345 plus 276. Just like last time, I'm gonna write my problem vertically, and I'm still going to draw my lines and circle my sign just to keep myself nice and neat. I start over with the ones place. I have five plus six. I'm gonna add on six to five. So five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. So I can't keep 11 here. I have to regroup 10 of those ones and turn it into a 10 where I'm going to carry that one. Then I have one plus four is five, and five plus seven is 12. So I'm gonna put my two here and regroup all of those tens into a 100 or carry my one. One plus three is four, and four plus two is five, six. And I have my sum of 621. Now notice this time I didn't use a picture. I absolutely can if that helps me solve my problem. 
Um, either strategy works today. Now let's talk about subtraction. Remember that when we're subtracting, the answer to a subtraction problem is the difference. When we were adding, the answer to an addition problem was called the sum. So again, I'm going to set up my problem. I'm gonna make sure I have enough space. My problem is gonna be 561 minus 342. Again, I set up my problem vertically, and I'm gonna leave some space for a picture over here just so we can remember what this looks pictorially. So I'm gonna start with my 500s, my 610s, and my 1-1. One, one. Now this time, we're going to draw our lines and remember that we are subtracting. So we're not gonna draw this 342, instead we're taking away from our picture over here, or we're taking away from this number. So we had a little poem that said, more on top, no need to stop, more on the floor, go next door and get 10 more, numbers the same, zeros the game. So I'm looking at this and I have a one on top and a two on the bottom. I have one dot over here and I'm trying to take away two ones and I don't have two to take away, I only have one. So if you remember, what we need to do is we need to borrow, which means I need to take one of these tens and I'm gonna turn it into 10 ones. Now I have 11 ones. That's why we crossed that out because we're taking what we used to have one one and we've turned it into 11. I look over in my tens, I no longer have six tens, I only have five tens. So I cross out that six and make it a five because we took one of those tens to turn it into ones. Now I have 11 minus two. I can come over to my picture and take away two ones. Now I have nine ones left. I come over to my picture and I take away four tens. Now I have one 10 left because five minus four equals one. Then I come over to my hundreds. I have five one hundreds. They want me to take away three. So I'm going to erase three of my one hundreds and I have two one hundreds left, which means my difference, my answer to my subtraction problem is 219. This time I'm going to solve the problem without drawing a picture. Again, if drawing the picture helps, draw the picture. Make sure that you're understanding the steps. But if you feel like you're at a point when you're ready to just solve the problem, just do it without the picture. So this time I'm looking again, I'm starting in my ones place. I'm going to draw my lines. I'm gonna circle my sign and I'm starting in my ones place. I have two minus seven. I can't you take away seven if I only have two. So I'm going to need to go get more tens or one more 10. So I'm gonna come over here to my tens place I'm gonna take one of my tens, so now I have three, and I'm gonna add 10 more to my two. So I have two ones, I'm adding 10 more to it. Now I have 12 ones. I'm gonna do 12 minus seven. If I'm not sure, I can use a strategy like using my fingers, I can draw a picture, or if I know my fact, 12 minus seven is five. Then I'm looking at my tens place, and this time, oh, I have three, minus six. If I have three, I can't take away six. I can't just put a three here because six minus three is three, because that's not correct. I can't take six away from three. So this time I need to move over to my hundreds place. I'm gonna take a 100 away and I'm gonna turn it into 10 tens. And when I do that, I'm no longer going to have three, I'm going to have 13. And I'm gonna erase that since I don't have enough room and turn that into a 13. Again, I can use a strat any strategy that I need to to figure out what 13 minus six is. That's gonna get us to seven. Then I have that wonderful thing where I have numbers the same. I have two, I'm taking two away, so zero is going to be the answer. My difference, I can write two different ways. I can write zero, seven, five, or I can also just write it seven, five, 75, because I don't have to have that zero in front. Your turn to try. Make sure that as you're doing it, you are taking the time 
Make sure that you line up your ones, tens, and hundreds column and really pay attention if we're being asked to add or subtract. You've got this. I can't wait to see what you're able to do.